Welcome to another video and today we are talking all things record box and answering the question do you actually need to subscribe to any kind of plan within record box if you've watched my channel for a while you will probably know that I use record box on a weekly basis at all of my DJ gigs and you may know that I have never subscribed to this piece of DJ software I'm not doing anything weird I'm not doing anything dodgy I'm legitimately using Rekordbox and I'm not paying for it. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that, you know, you need to go home and cancel your Rekordbox subscription immediately. That is not the aim of this video at all. In fact, depending on what features you use on the platform, you might actually well need a subscription. This is really just to raise awareness on what you can actually get for free because I do think it's a pretty comprehensive package and quite a generous package in terms of those free levels that are available. And I know what it's like when you're starting out as a DJ, you know, you've got to buy your controller, your headphones, your record pool subscription, or you've got to download a load of music. And some of you may have just downloaded Rekordbox and signed up to a subscription without realizing what you can actually get away with for free. So without further ado, let's get straight into it and let's... So to kick things off then, let's talk about what you actually get for free without having to pay for Rekordbox. Well, first and foremost, if you are using the platform as the name suggests, as a Rekordbox, and this is purely for the purposes of creating playlists, analyzing tracks, and exporting them to an SD card or a USB stick for use in CDJs, or a, an all-in-one system like the Opus Quad or the RX3, then you do not need to pay for a subscription. Rekordbox will do all of that completely free of charge. Now, in terms of track analysis on Rekordbox, yes, sometimes it gets the beat grids wrong, so you have to do a little bit of manual adjustment later, which you can do free of charge within the software, and sometimes it gets the keys of tracks wrong, but for free, I think it's pretty good. The other way you can use export mode is how I use it, where you plug in your uh, laptop via an Ethernet cable linked to CDJs, and then you can drag and drop the files onto the CDJ which you want to play it on. That is all completely free of charge as well. So pretty good that it does all of this for free. And if this is the only thing that you want to use Rekordbox for, then you will never need to pay for it. Well, as long as Pioneer or Rekordbox don't start charging for this service, then you will never need to pay for the software. One thing to add, though, with this is you can only store tracks locally on a device in this version of uh, export mode. So if you want to store tracks in the cloud, we will come on to that a little bit later because there is a paid subscription option for that. So just bear in mind that you have to store your tracks locally on a hard drive of your laptop or an external hard drive. Next up then, let's talk about performance mode. Now, the difference between export mode and performance mode is when you select performance mode, this is where you'll have two virtual decks on your laptop screen and you're basically using a controller to control the software. That's literally all there is to it. Now, with Rekordbox in performance mode, I actually think the free version of this is far more comprehensive than the likes of Serato Lite. However, there is one condition, and that is you need to own a hardware unlock device by Pioneer DJ or Alpha Theta. And you can check the list of these hardware unlock devices out on the Record Box website. And the list is pretty comprehensive to say the least. The likeliness is, is that if you own a Pioneer DJ controller or Alpha Theta controller, there is only the ominous duo at the time of filming, then it, you're gonna be absolutely fine. And effectively, your device that you're plugging into the software, the laptop, becomes your license key. And as I mentioned, it's pretty comprehensive in terms of what you get for free. So you can have access to all eight hot cues, you can use looping, the beat jump, all of the effects. Well, I say all of the effects, most of the mixer effects, certainly. Um, I did find, find out on a tutorial I filmed last week that there were a few of the color effects and the release effects 
that I couldn't access using the free version. However, there is definitely enough there to create professional sounding DJ mixes, perform out live at events, at you know nightclubs, whatever you are doing in terms of your DJ sets. And you can even record and share your mixes as well. So in my opinion, pretty comprehensive in terms of the performance mode, but just check that your device is a hardware unlocked device in order to access all of those features. Now we've spoken about all of the features and what you can get with Rekordbox for free. If you're sat there thinking, no, do you know what? I still need to subscribe to it. Well, let's talk a little bit about this now. We'll talk about the different pricing options and what you get for your money. Rekordbox effectively has three different pricing models. There's the basic plan, which is called the core plan, which works out at £10 per month here in the UK. That is the price if you subscribe for a full year rather than month to month. In my opinion, you're going to need it all year round. You're better off paying for it up front in a year kind of block because you save yourself a bit of money. That's just my opinion. It's £10 a month. That's how much it works out. So £120 a year. In the middle, you've got the creative plan, which is £15 per month. And then you've also got the professional plan, which is £30 a month, which in my opinion is pretty steep. Now, if you want to store your music in the cloud, you can add on a cloud option, which is an additional £7 per month. OK, so just bear that in mind. If you want to store music locally just on your laptop hard drive, then, of course, don't add on that cloud option. If you are subscribing to the professional plan, which is £30 a month, that does actually include five terabytes of cloud based storage. So you don't need to add on another seven pounds to that. In fact, that would be a ridiculous price. But yeah, if you want to add on the cloud, which is a terabyte to the other two plans, it's seven pounds per month. So just bear that in mind. So in terms of the core plan, then this is £10 a month or £17 if you want to add on the cloud storage. All this basically does is unlock the performance features that we spoke about in the free plan, but to more devices. So if you can't find your um, controller in the hardware unlock device list that we spoke about um, when we were discussing the free version of performance mode, then unfortunately you are going to have to subscribe to at least the core plan. Moving up then to the creative plan. So this is going to cost you an extra £5 a month here in the UK. So £15 a month if you subscribe on a yearly basis. And this basically unlocks the ability to save your edited tracks. Now Rekordbox is pretty cool in that you can edit your own tracks within the software. So if you wanted to create an extra eight bar intro to a track or an outro or extend the drop, et cetera, et cetera. You can do this in record box. It is quite good with this. However, unless you have the creative plan, you are not going to be able to save those edited tracks for use in future sets. So just bear that in mind. You, This is the minimum level that you're going to need to subscribe to if you want to save those tracks. So if you're into making your own little edits and stuff and you want to save them down, you're going to need the creative plan. The other additional feature that you do get with the creative plan is the vocal detection and display. So this really just helps you with your mixing. It's going to display on the waveform when it detects vocals in the music. So it avoids you clashing them together. Now, in my opinion, I, I think it's a bit of a gimmick. Like, I know my tracks inside out personally. Um, I don't need a feature like this. But if, for example, you've downloaded something and you're not quite sure where the vocal drops in, it could be useful for you. So just bear that in mind. And you also get access to the full range of RMX effects as well with the creative plan. You don't get that on the core. So something to bear in mind, but it will cost you an extra five pounds a month. Finally, then let's talk about the flagship professional subscription that Rekordbox offers. Now this will cost you a whopping 30 pounds per month if you're paying for a year up front. So 30 pounds times 12, 
or £36 a month on a monthly rolling contract. Now, this does not unlock any additional performance features with relation to the software itself, but what this does unlock is a way to manage your music more effectively in the cloud. So you get a whopping five terabytes of cloud-based storage with Dropbox using this plan. So if you've got a massive music collection and you want to store it in the cloud, then this is probably going to be the uh, subscription for you. Personally, I don't see a need. I have a one terabyte hard drive on my laptop and I back it up myself um, using physical backups. It works for me, but if you want to shift over to the cloud and do all of your music management in the cloud, then this could be the subscription for you. So this professional plan is really more about your music management as opposed to unlocking performance features within the software. Now, what is really quite cool about storing your music in the cloud is if the CDJs that you're using or the device you're using is internet enabled, you actually can, you know, stream your music directly from the cloud down to the device, which is pretty cool. So you don't actually need a USB stick. I don't know how temperamental that is. I've never tried it myself. I'm just going by what they are saying on the record box website. But yes, if you want to have that real kind of professional, um, you know, management system, £30 a month is the premium that you are going to need to pay. So there we have it, a little bit of an overview into the record box subscriptions. It can be a little bit of a minefield, I know. As I mentioned, I have never paid for Rekordbox in my life. I don't intend to pay it as long as I get export mode for free because that is how I use Rekordbox and I store all my music locally. And to be quite honest, if you own a hardware unlocked device, in my opinion, if you're storing music locally, you're probably not going to need to subscribe to Rekordbox. In my personal opinion, there is plenty of creative features on that software in order to get you started and to get you DJing on a professional level week in, week out. Hope that you found this video useful. Please do give this video a thumbs up. If you have enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next video.